I made breakfast this morning. Breakfast. I got eggs, cheese, and avocado. And these were purple green beans, but now they're green. And here's no more. Just begging. I know. You're so good. Oh, I spent a very large portion of my morning arguing with FedEx. I'm not going to tell you the story here. I'm going to wait for Ernie to get here, and I'm going to tell oh, tell him the story. And then that way, he'll get the full spectrum. Can you get up? Can you get up yet? No? Okay, I'll help you. I'll help you. Oh, there you go. I ain't know. I got to go to work for a little bit. I got to go out of town tomorrow. I'm going to miss you for... A little over 48 hours. Just a little over 48 hours, bud. A little over 48 hours. Just a little. Just a little. For a little bit. Nap time. Okay. Work for a little bit, okay? Running late today, huh? Yeah. Let me tell you about what happened to me today. What happened? So, I get a call from FedEx. Oh. FedEx is like, we have a package for you, but it doesn't have your address on it. And I'm like, cool, well here's my address. Like, well we can't take your address from you. You have to call the sender, and you have to tell them to call us to tell you the address. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Looks like it's probably a debit card. And I was like, yeah, it's my Wells Fargo card, because yesterday my shit got fucked up. I'm like, I don't really have time for this, man. Honestly, I was like, shouldn't oh. you shouldn't you call Wells Fargo? And they're like, he's like, no, you need to do it. So So wait, the guys that stole shit were sending it to you? What? No, no. Oh, my card. My replacement the... card is oh. coming to me. Got I... it? Yeah. Okay. I don't care. I know what fucking ridiculous story you just made up in your head. I guess I'll call Wells Fargo. I call Wells Fargo. The lady on the phone's like, well, I'm not allowed to make outgoing calls. And I'm like, okay, well, can I talk to your supervisor? And then he's like, yeah, I can call him. Let me, let me call him. And he calls. And the lady on the phone's like, yeah, um, you can't you can't change anything. Like, you're not, you know, it has to get escalated to the supervisor. And finally, there's only nine people in the entire world that work for Wells Fargo that can change the address on this package. What are you talking about? There's only nine people. I was like, okay, well, who are the nine people? Since yeah. my man that works at Wells Fargo, maybe he knows one of the people. He's like, I can't tell you their names. I'm like, <laughs> what are you talking about? This is a top hey, I was like, yeah, I was like, am I dealing with the fucking CIA right now? Like, what is happening? Like, this is my debit card, correct? So I just keep kidding her to say yes to stuff. I'm like, is this my card? She's like, yeah. I'm like, is yeah. it addressed to me? She's like, yes. I'm like, is that is Wells Fargo on the other line? I'm like, yes. I'm like, so why the fuck can't you see me my card? And the guy at Wells Fargo is even like, this doesn't oh, make any light. sense, ma'am. She's like, what am I supposed to do? Go grab every supervisor in here and see if one of the nine are on the list? Like, what? I've never heard this in my life and he's like apologizing and I finally just like hawked out and just started screaming at her and it was just like why did they in the first place did anybody explain why it was sent they just made a mistake the, oh. like Wells Fargo made a mistake and like only put apparently on the package it only says 1000 Denver Colorado and as my name and phone number so they called me I was like yelling at this lady like crazy because I could not like I just couldn't I couldn't understand you know I was like what are you talking about I was like so essentially FedEx what you're telling me is that I need to go on a fucking scavenger hunt today yeah. to try and find one of the nine you know people I was like what am I in fucking national treasure part three mm -hmm. steal the duck and declaration of independence what is the final thing so now so after I just like hulked out called back to Wells Fargo got the same supervisor again and I was like dude what the fuck he's like I don't know what the hell's going on that was the craziest thing ever he's like you had me rolling though man you're a funny guy and I was like yeah I'm gonna be the next George Carlin <laughs> I didn't record the argument. Oh, you got it. Because I was just so hot. I was so mad about it. And it just happened so quick. You know, I was like, what the fuck? Is I was trying to clean my house. The resolve is this, like, dude, can you just send me another card and have it here in the morning? And it's yeah. like, well, it's Saturday. We don't really do Saturday delivery. Well, I think you guys probably should in this case, you know? And yeah. it's like, so they figured it out. Oh, and here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Because there was like three separate charges on my account. One of them was for $1,000 flat. I got a refund this morning for like, the one charge, because it's the only one that posted, I get a refund for $992.50. What do they charge? And I'm like, like a fee? I'm like, wait a second. And only because I only had them on the phone. Like, I know it's like not a big amount of money, but yeah, still. But it's a seven, yeah, seven fifty. Take and and after they credited me, it charged me another thousand dollars. They they took the thousand out of the bank, credited me back a nine hundred and ninety-two dollars, and they took, took another fucking thousand dollars. 
like I said, my car got shut down at Taco Bell for $136. Yeah. For, and like, I had to make a million phone calls, but yet somebody can go purchase $3,000 yeah. worth of computer parts and nobody bats an eye. <laughs> yeah, like, like 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> I called him, I was like, you know, security of this account is a little strange. It's like, I feel like I'm locked out of it and everybody else is out here just whiling. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. There's no way you're running shit over there because you're reading to me off a computer screen and you're not talking to me like a human being. Yeah. I was like, what would you do if I was your son? And I was like, hey, mom. <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. I was like, they wouldn't let me, uh, they, or the FedEx says I can't do this and I have to discover one of nine people on the planet in order to unlock my own fucking debit card. <laughs> it's like a game. Yeah, I was like, what would you say you to your child? What she doesn't say anything, she's just sitting there, I was like, yeah, you're not saying anything because they don't got a fucking rebuttal printed on the screen for that one, do they? You could drill buddy in front of us. Making growing simple. Yeah, that's crazy. He uh, just comes out and teaches you how to grow weed? I guess so. He don't mind his license. Yeah, I'm sure he's show. totally fine with it. That's crazy. Yeah. I like how the girl's got tomatoes and the guy has a pot leaf. Yeah. <laughs> a huge pot leaf. Whether you're growing pot or tomatoes. Hey, you want to grow some tomatoes? Don't you want to grow some fucking killer clown tomato number six? I mean, whatever you want. That's her was incredible. Oh yeah, you went to Red Rocks for the first time. Yeah. How was how was your experience walking up there? Oh my god, brutal. <laughs> you literally hike like yeah. through trails. Yeah, like yeah. we're like dipping over rivers and through oh, rocks. I don't know that shit. way. The way I'm walking with someone and I'm like, so on the way back in the dark is there lights? They're like, no, make sure you save your save yeah, enough you battery. battery, dude. That was beautiful. Circus Survive killed it. One of the best performances I ever saw. The last song is like this sad song. Everybody starts singing along in my head. I'm like, is this like a Linkin Park or Soundgarden tribute that yeah. they're doing? And I'm like, but I don't want to ask the guy next to me and look like the idiot that doesn't know. So I'm like, I'll just enjoy it. Black. It ended up not being. It was one of their own songs. But dude starts, you've been to Red Rocks. Yes. Dude starts walking up the middle and it stares and he's singing and coming up the middle and everybody's like coming in on him and it's going crazy. Dude, it was like out of a movie, he couldn't have timed it any better. As the song starts picking up, the sky opens up, it just starts raining. Oh shit. It was ill. And then literally as the song like ended into these strings and it all slows down, <laughs> the rain like dissipates and maybe goes was, away. Maybe it was part of their show, they have fake rain. <laughs> that would have been amazing. I love the people that leave all like some kid left a comment about I think Abby the other day yeah. said something rude. He was basically talking about her look. So I went to go look at him and my man is just wearing a fucking like everything on him doesn't fit because it's too big but it's not because it's too big like it's like he doesn't fit into smalls like he's such a scrawny little fucking <laughs> child man that he has to fucking shop in the youth boy section. How about Hat that? is like swallowing his head, his glasses are swallowing his face. This dude is just projecting the fact that he looks like what he's saying. You yeah, know what that I mean? He, I'm like, how he looks. But the one troll that made up that name last night with the letter he commented on every like your whole thing he was just commenting down it like talking about the price of the towels talking. I didn't even see it he said something about that guy uh, who Thomas was, Thomas oh, okay and they were like oh you know Teddy Thomas is doing this thing so many people hit me up as if like I don't like have you heard of Thomas do you know Tom I'm like do y'all watch the vlog I'm like I was probably one of the first people to text Thomas when the shit happened and be like if you need anything, let me know. Like at first, I'm like, what an asshole. And then after like his seventh comment, I'm like, wow, this guy just literally yeah, is. You but know what's what I mean? funny like is, probably he, 10 he, minutes. he has to watch it. He has to watch it. I don't it. give a, that's what I'm saying. I never and, gave a fuck. I'm like, when I started the channel, I was like, I don't care if you like it or me or dislike it or me. You won't have to watch it to form that opinion. Yeah. That's what YouTube is for. It's fine if you don't agree with me. It's fine if you don't like me. It's totally but he cool. he does like yeah, me. But like, you're, because yeah. you're taking the time. Because yeah, think about that. To sit home and be like, I'm just going to sit here. Like, you got to look uh, at this yourself. This guy posted another video. Yeah. I'm going to fucking watch it. And I'm going to leave comments. And you see the comments are within <laughs> yeah. like a three hour span. And you think, yeah. like, is my man literally just yeah. refreshing your comments? Like, let's see what someone's yeah, positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm I'm gonna to piss sleep. him off. Like a baby tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're a bitch. And even the shit about my girl, like it doesn't bother me. Yeah, like I, I get it. I respond to some YouTube comments, like to like have a dial. Like people are, and here's the thing too about once you people get people think you won't have a dialogue. Yeah, but here's the, it's like a catch twenty two. No matter what though, because once you get like status or people think you're famous or whatever the fuck, yeah. if you respond 
you're fucking triggered. That's what they oh, think. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, you're so triggered. Yeah. If you don't respond, you're fucking scared. Oh, he won't fucking respond to me. Or, oh, he's a fucking snob. He doesn't answer anybody. You know, you can't really win. There's so many times when you sit there and I think about it. I'm like, I could fucking completely dismantle this person. But then the, then it starts an all-day conversation. It's like, I don't even want to open the fight with you, honestly. So. Well, dude, I don't see what people on the fucking internet don't see, though. When you respond to something, is they don't see all of the fucking shit you don't respond to. Yeah. And it's like, as a person when I'm reading through comments and it's like it's my fault for reading the comments in the morning or whatever but you know it's like why would you even like why would you even say that to me well first off yeah. you would never say it to me in person uh, I, that's <laughs> you know what I mean like your con since the first sneaker con even like New York like the first New York thing we went to I've my life has been threatened yeah. <laughs> like every single one like someone's like I'm gonna see you I'm gonna bring my boys the whole fucking gang is gonna fucking kill you and I'm like all right that's cool so if you don't have a pro Profile pic, I don't even really fucking care what you say. Yeah. That's part, dude. It's like these <laughs> it's like, trolls create, yeah. like, you look at their thing, they have zero followers. Yeah. They literally took the time to yeah. create the name yeah. and the page to troll you. Yeah. Which is almost like flattering. Yeah. Like, you know, that's. Yeah, I own their emotions. It's rad. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Hey, How Teddy. are you? How you God doing? Damn, we were just talking about oh, you. Oh, yeah? Teddy. Dude, holy hell, nice to meet you. Nice to meet That's you. That's awesome. I definitely follow you on Instagram. Oh, nice. Awesome. Hell yeah. That's awesome. We matched today, even. Yeah. yeah. Both got bread on? Yeah. Oh, you grab it and euthanize it. Huh? Same thing happened to me when a snake got in our, me and Rick's apartment when really? we were younger. Yeah, like, I came home and a snake was wrapped around the banister and I, like, ran by it. I was like, ah, oh, I ran shit. by it. Me and my girl went upstairs and just. You know, got busy. So then I was like, I'm gonna go check on the snake, see what's going on. And I went back down there, and it was gone. So like two weeks passed by. My girl roommate uh, called Rick and her were home. She moved her pillow to like like to like set it up to like go under her back so she could rest or whatever. And the fucking snake dropped out of it. Oh! Rick like had to like wrangle the fucking thing and take it and like release it and shit. It was crazy. Here is I'm convinced a girl that I slept with and like didn't want anything to do with oh. is the one who put it in our apartment. Motherfucker. So yeah. Yeah, it dropped off. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. shit was crazy. You're so crazy. Yeah. Why? You just are. Your first time you like Alex Mack today. I know you don't know who the fuck that is, but that's what you look like. Alex hey, Mack. You got a, one second to look at my guitar. It's cool. Yeah. Come look yeah. at my guitar. I was like, fuck that, Jazz. I want some black. Yeah. So I did all black, so it's not just run of the mill. Which I like because it's a little smaller. That's a dope looking guitar. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking. I don't even want to like ever play it. It's smash like too. It. It's too luxurious. You just smash it. Smash it, dog. For days, bro. Bruh. Sick. For days. Bruh. Here you hold it. Let's shot of this dude. Is this how you hold Ultimate it? fucking coolness. You hold it how you want. I'm left-handed, so I'd be holding it like this. Learn how to play it in reverse. Yeah. Look at that burst up here too. They don't do that on a lot of guitars. Yeah, the burst. Or you get the me, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Like is that your radio? Yeah. That's how you listen to other songs? Yeah. When I'm playing, I don't like a song, I'm when I'm playing, playing really bad, I'm gonna start playing. Hey man, hit the Millie Vanilli switch, I'm tired. Millie Vanilli. Vanilli. It just plays with it already. It auto plays. Yeah. What up? What up? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys have a good one. Yeah, you too. I did like, on the south side. Yeah, I that's a good song. Oh, there's a note. There's always a note and always misses. It's like a sneaker deodorizer. It's like for making your shoes smell good. Oh. Just rotate it daily, son. That's amazing. Let's tap my neck. We're here. The kid I'm about to get this make sure. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. What is that? They open the gates. Wait, what? what? You're getting on where? What? A uh, southwest. I think there's uh, no like seating. So I timer hits zero. It's everyone for themselves. That's it. There's 78 seats aboard the aircraft. <laughs> 139 tickets have been sold as of now. 140 now. There's one switchblade hidden in the, <laughs> in the breezeway. Welcome to Southwest. <laughs> Yo, Southwest motherfucker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I assume there's no first class then. I don't know. Maybe they're the only people that don't fight. Fucking they get to get sad first and watch the Purge Airlines. <laughs> Step aboard the plane. The the battle will begin in one minute. <laughs> mango. Mango. So the Maui Mango. Maui Mango wraps. I mean right. I mean left. No turn on red and he doesn't when, anyway. No, when pedestrians are present. Yeah. So we left the weed store. 
I tried to purchase weed and my card got declined because of fraud. That's fraud, security error. If you're out there and you want my card number, you can use it apparently for whatever you want. But me, no. Nah. So shop trip today was a little uneventful. My uh, client, who is also a fan of the channel, I presume, was actually not old enough to get tattooed. Had to be 18 or have a parent with you to get tattooed in Colorado, just for the record. Most states you have to be 18 no matter what. Colorado will allow you at 16, as long as you have a parent. A lot of stuff to do because tomorrow I'm leaving to go to Houston. Houston, what has he got? What is it? Drop it. Drop it. Oh, you little fucker. How did you even get this? The dog loves Adidas. Sorry, Burgos. I'm home, I gotta get ready to go to Houston. If you don't know, I will be in Houston Sunday for Sneaker Summit. There is limited merch that I'm bringing. It's on my Instagram and my Twitter if you want to see it. I uh, don't know how many shirts I have. I don't know if they're going online yet. As of right now, this weekend, the only place to get them would be Sneaker Summit, if there's any left, or if we have a schedule to print more, it's possible they go online. I'm roasting some carrots right now. I make a salad with this here kale. I'm gonna do some of that. Our shipping on the old stuff goes, everything should be gone by today other than some of the wave stuff, but everything else should be gone by today. Wave should start shipping Monday, Tuesday if you haven't already gotten shipping. Towels are taking a little bit longer to ship than other stuff. We've uh, been really behind with Ernie moving here, expanding the tattoo shop, hiring new people, me being all over the place, Sager being all over the place. It's just been a little bit harder to keep up. We should be back on track essentially today, hopefully back on track fully. It's first time I met Chris Brown, this is crazy. And it's me, Colin Farrell. It's been a few seconds since you saw my face last. Um, there are no shoes to talk about today. I said a few minutes ago I'm headed to Sneaker Summit in Houston. I'll be there on Sunday. I'm flying tomorrow night and I fly out early Monday. It's a quick trip. I gotta get back to Omar and life and scheduling and craziness. But I wanted to take a minute today and talk about something that's going on pretty crazy and not that cool. I mentioned it a little bit earlier when I was riding with Earn, and that is the homie Thomas the Franchise who has a YouTube channel. He's also lives in Denver, Colorado. He's been in my videos. I've been in his videos. You guys have seen him. Some of you follow him, I know. I think it was last Tuesday. I think someone threw out a cigarette butt and it caught a fence on fire, that caught his house on fire, that in turn caught all of his shoes on on fire. Uh, I mean, he's got crazy videos. You go check out his channel regardless, but you should go check out the video and take a look and see how crazy it is because it basically destroyed, I think, pretty much everything. And even the stuff it didn't destroy, it sounds like got taken by insurance companies and they do a bunch of dumb shit. Just a very big headache, you know, and his friends helped him out and came through as good friends do and tried to help him get, you know, at least salvage some stuff so he could live somewhat of a normal life. My man is staying in a hotel right now. Can imagine what you're going through because I've, I haven't had all my stuff burned, but I've had everything I own stolen before so I can completely understand the headspace. It's not somewhere that anybody uh, should ever have to be, but unfortunately sometimes shit happens and it, it sucks, you know? So I just wanted to go ahead and talk about it and let you guys know. Uh, his friend started up a GoFundMe for him. The GoFundMe will be in the description of the video. I'll, you'll be able to follow that link if you want to donate. I myself will be donating to the fund. I probably have to donate tomorrow because my fucking credit card isn't here. So as soon as my credit card gets here and I can actually uh, use my money, I'm gonna donate myself. I'll be donating $200 to the fund and um, hopefully they can reach the goal and they can help Thomas uh, get some shoes back, get his channel back running and um, you know, just hopefully some sort of normalcy to his life because it's pretty crazy. And he didn't ask me to do this. I've been talking to Thomas when this happened, we talked. I asked him to reach out if he needed anything. Has never reached out for anything because it doesn't seem like he's really that type of person. So I'll do what I can and share the information to you guys. You guys wanna help out and donate, even if it's like $5, you know, like whatever. And if you can't donate, that's fine too. Just go leave him a nice comment. Go subscribe to his channel. Do something to help him out if you can. It will be much appreciated from Thomas. He's a good dude, and uh, I hope things start to look up better for him in the very near future. But I gotta get out of here. I will see you guys. To, I'll, well, I won't see you tomorrow, but you'll probably get a Sunday vlog because of Houston. So, see you in Houston. Peace.